Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today we are going to be reading in a Phenomenon 7, Liminal Echo. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. This one is going to be a long one. Now let's get right into this. Why are so many levels and entities harmful to people? Are these being manufactured for this purpose? Phenomenon 7 is a theoretical poison that permeates the back rooms, more dangerous than the radon, lead, and asbestos found in the front rooms. This contaminant cannot be inhaled, ingested, or transferred by touch. It is psychic in nature, absorbed by the mind and soul. Liminal Echo is the sentient lifeblood of this place. There is no antidote. <sighs> Description Dr. John Reinhardt, PhD of the Meg Team Epiphany, said it best. This place is no random accident. The back rooms is the most purposeful truth I can imagine. It is as if dozens of demigods are constantly painting an ever evolving montage of bizarre existence and is dedicated to, tainting, to taunting the humans trapped here. This hydra of creativity, this liminal echo, grows day by day, watered by our tears and fertilized by our fears. Our scientific consultant is, is not, not the only one to wonder why the negativity here exceeds all laws of chance and probability. Levels and entities keep popping into existence, one after another. Are these things being discovered or created? Discovery Phenomenon 7 was probably first encountered with the original one or bounce off of a smelly wet carpet to the madness of mono yellow and noise of humbuzz. It was officially discovered and named only recently. A thesis submitted to the major explorer group by Dr. Reinhardt. The discovery began with research into the echoes of liminality, pervading most levels. What was immediately noticed was that the liminal spaces in the back rooms were artificial and, and grossly exaggerated. Someone or something was weaponizing liminality and waging a, a psychological war on wanderers. More facts fell into place, and the Meg realized that almost everything about the back rooms was generated to be detrimental to humans. If we are not welcome here, why does something keep trapping us in this impossible space? Are we somehow feeding this unreality? A matter of purpose, unless we believe that these levels and these are happy little accidents, we must consider the distinct possibility that uh, most were intentionally performed with a purpose. They have been created by an intelligent and familiar with the front rooms and then twisted into liminal caricatures of our reality. There are, however, so many facets to these creations that it is difficult to accept that they could ever originate from a single source. I think this is one of the theories of the backrooms, actually. There are quite a few theories about what the backrooms are. Like, for instance, and there are some theories that they are scrap uh, up ideas for the for our reality that I uh, and these places are thrown away, while only parts of them get to exist in reality. This is a different theory entirely. As of this writing, there are roughly 400 at levels of varying dangers and strangeness. Most of these places are incomprehensible to us, while several levels are recognizable well, translations of our locations, such as malls, level 33, level 102, level 122, Suburbs, level 9. Skating rinks, level 31, level 160. Parking garages, level 22, level 35. Arcades, level 25, level 40. Aircraft carriers, level 17, level 103. Eateries, level 98, level 146, level 213, level 458. Hospitals, level 109. Apartments, level 13. Airports, level 36, level 212. Retail stores, level 176, level 179. Amusement parks, 
level 345, level 890. Water parks of the 8, level 119. An indoor playground, level 283. We need to read 283 later. Because that is the strongest freaking source of nostalgia for me. And liminal of feelings. Anyway. Due to the nature of the backrooms, these examples are subject to change. We also share the backrooms with about 200 entities displaying a wide range of temperament and intelligence. Dreams are the original liminal space. Every one of, our, uh, of us has our own liminal as our own unique liminal dream zone. This is mere coincidence that some levels and entities have dreamlike or nightmarish qualities. We ask again, are we the input? Please know that this document is a concise overview of the phenomenon both, both for rank and fire MEG personnel and wanderers. The sounds we love present four of the examples that have been investigated in the process of, of compiling this report. So a discourse on this phenomenon will require encyclopedic knowledge Research is ongoing. Level 283, Playland. This is level 283, Ball Pit. Okay, I liked a lot of the indoor playgrounds. I hate ball pits. They are disgusting to think about. When it comes to levels, what you see is almost never what you get. Still, your childhood beckons. This place is an internet playground with, with perpetual recess. And possibly, if that word can never apply here, the entire level is indoors. There are tunnels, tubes, and slides, and your heart aches at the sight of your favorite, a ball pit. I hate the ball pit, but the rest I really like. Does it really go on forever? There are teeter tart Teeter totters, monkey bars, merry-go-rounds, and swing sets. Everything is innocent. Despite the intrinsic nostalgia, this playground comes with playmates. Hounds, wretches, skin sealers, smilers, clubs, and facelings play here. Carnies, a level 283 exclusive entity, may prove friendly or not. If you are luck lucky, you will exercise maturity and live another day. If you are not so lucky, you will answer the call of the ball pit and dive in with glee and innocence will end and as you sink helplessly beneath the waves of brightly colored liminality. There is no escape once you go under. Liminal echo springs the perfect little trap. Level 148, the living level. A weird creative illustration from the Meg Archives. Hostile entities can cause pain and death. Some environments are toxic to wanderers. They harm without intent. Only in the back rooms do we find a murderous habitat with consciousness. There are three things to know about level of 148. The first fact is that the level is, the level is truly alive and sleeps, hunts, eats, and most un importantly, can communicate. Secondly, the level cooperates with a massive population of entities. These can be far more aggressive intelligence. These include hounds, stranglers, clumps, play goblins, smilers, child facelings, growlers, mimics, and phobic centipedes. We need to read about some of these, it looks like. There are no reports of this level harming an entity. Never forget that level 148 kills human trespassers. Communication between this level and wanderers has led to the conclusion that the level is actually intelligent, manipulative, and acts with malicious intent toward human beings. The entity can communicate by either inscribing its messages on the walls or speaking to the wanderer. Phenomenon 7 makes an excuse crime, being human, a crime worthy of the death penalty. I mean, I already have enough death in the back rooms, I mean, in the front rooms. Okay. Level 444, the level without form.
Level 444 is an unstable level that regenerates itself about once every hour. The lights go out for 10-15 seconds and everything changes. With the new interior apparently assembled at random. Flashlights do not uh, work during this brief interlude. Some walls can appear to have no collision and furniture and objects can get stuck inside. After these hourly revisions, objects and structures from different levels are pertaining to enemies that appear only in certain levels can be found. These include a book labeled The Property of the Cygnus Archives with every page blank. Why is it red again? I've already been to the Cygnus Archives, haven't I? Partially embedded inside at a, a wall was a model of level 333, which is a plain white room with an introversion of itself placed upon a stand in the center. A paper crown, similar to the one of the king. The yellow slide of level 119 without its anomalous effects. A mask, like the game's a master, stuck to the wall. Endings in count here can include death moths, hounds, skin stealers, smilers, crawlers, and death threats. Until now, the back rooms offered fragments of familiarity based on scenes and objects from the front rooms. Level 444 offers familiarity with entities, objects, and places in the back rooms. Is this a, an evolutionary development? Is it because people born in the back rooms have no emotional connection to the front rooms? Did Liminal Echo create this level to have an unsettling impact on individuals native to the back rooms? Entity 123, your name here. Hello, I'm dead. Name tag, creative illustration, mech archives. Entity 123, your name here is a spectral nightmare that targets wanderers based on their surname. It often takes the form of an evil doppelganger or supernatural devil of the quarry. It can also manifest as a horrifying event or circumstances beyond the victim's control. With every e encounter revolving around the name of its prey, credible sources have traced this murderous trail across both the front rooms and back rooms. This entity has a terrifying purpose, and it's personal. People enjoy hearing or seeing their name. Liminal Echo turns this affinity into a reason to die. Do's and don'ts. Do. Be ready for anything. Proceed with extreme caution. Don't assume anything. Don't confuse the back rooms with the front rooms. And that was the back rooms in the a phenomenon known as Liminal Echo. That got really dark. I don't know if we were really deep enough into the back rooms to be reading that, but it's an interesting way to think of it. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!